Weather satellites captured a massive explosion from a volcano known as Hunga Tonga in the South Pacific Ocean on Friday. It produced a shockwave that traveled all the way around the entire planet. Part of the reason the explosion was so violent is that most of the volcano is underwater. And you know, so there's a lot of water probably seeped into the magma chamber and um, vaporized, producing huge pressure that blew it apart. CU Boulder professor Brian Toon says the volcano launched water vapor, ash, and gases up into the atmosphere as high as 18 miles. Toon studies the impact of volcanic eruptions on the climate. The key gas being emitted is sulfur dioxide. He says when it heats up in the sunlight, it changes into droplets called sulfuric acid. And these can reflect sunlight back to space. And uh, that's been observed after big eruptions um, that the, this has happened and it can cool the earth off. He says the Mount Pinatubo eruption in 1991 cooled the atmosphere by about one degree Fahrenheit for a little more than a year. But this week's eruption pales in comparison. So this particular eruption of Hunga Tonga isn't even close to being important to the climate in a way that would be obvious to people. He believes careful measurements will show some slight cooling in short-term temperature data, but nothing significant. Volcanoes also emit the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide, which causes warming to the atmosphere. But Toon says it's minimal compared to other sources. A NASA study shows the amount of CO2 that came from the Mount Pinatubo eruption, the largest in over 100 years, is equal to the amount of CO2 that humans produce twice every day. Toon says Hunga Tonga's concentration would hardly be noticeable. The volcano is none, nothing of any interest to the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere at the present time. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.